It's another beautiful Colorado morning here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Today is actually moving day for us, but we're not moving to another town or another state yet. We're actually moving spots here in the uh, Tiger Run Resort. Um, unfortunately, whenever we had to remake this reservation, let me back up by starting to say that we actually had a reservation here. Both us and Abby's parents had a reservation here for this time. Things happened where Abby's parents had to cancel their reservation uh, because they couldn't make it. Uh, coincidentally enough, they're actually coming in today uh, to stay for a week, but instead of driving up, they're flying up here and they're driving in and they're gonna be staying here in Breckenridge for a week. And that's why we extended our trip here for a, a total of three extra days. So we'd have two days to hang out with Abby's parents here in Breckenridge. So whenever their reservations got canceled, Tiger Run actually canceled both of our reservations because they were both made at the same time. And we told them that we wanted to keep this reservation, but they didn't listen to us and they canceled both of us. And thankfully, whenever Abby had called them to see if we could extend our stay, they said, oh, well, we canceled that reservation. Man, that was a, uh, that was a little nerve wracking right there. Luckily they got us in, but unfortunately, the spot that they got us in right here is only good until today because they had it booked so they're moving us to a different site uh, further over into the park it's really kind of an inconvenience but we're just glad that we actually was able to stay here for the full length of time so i'm getting everything packed up to uh, move us down there it's uh it's so funny we're only moving from one spot to another but we still have to pack everything up just the same as we as we are packing up to go to a you know a whole nother campground so we're getting everything packed up and uh, what I wanted to do was give you a quick update on our sticker collection for the back of the camper. I just added a few more. Let's see, we just put on Breckenridge sticker. I added a uh, Leadville sticker that I found. I forgot I bought that one. Golden, and I think that was it that I just added there. You may see some other ones that I have forgotten to mention. I was gonna add this Frisco sticker right here but I must have bought a really crappy sticker because I cannot get it to separate from the glue. So it's, um, this one is a loser right here. We're gonna go back into Frisco with her parents, so I'm gonna look for a better sticker, one of those heavier duty stickers like I've been putting on these right here. And then this one probably just get tossed because I just can't get it to separate. But we're really having fun filling out the back of the camper here it helps signify the places that we have been most all these are going to be you know colorado but we look forward to our future adventures wherever we go you know we got places in florida tennessee north carolina planned uh this year so we'll be able to keep adding to the stickers you know and you know we'll just keep filling up this whole back if i need to i'll i'll come over here maybe on this side but that's just something fun that abby and i like to do it's a it's a very inexpensive little hobby should you say you know these are two to three dollars a piece and that's usually what i buy whenever we go to these different towns all right so that's that i'm just getting everything packed up here ready to go we got to pull out of here at an hour i was going to mention uh this guy one more time the uh, little dewalt air compressor i just used it to uh top off all four of the tires on the truck and it works great so this is something that uh, i i suggested before it doesn't have to be dewalt just any kind of these um you know cordless air compressors to keep in your camper box they do come in handy the uh, tires were running low on uh, pressure so i just topped them off again so all right we're going to be moving in a little while and i will show you the new site it's actually a really pretty site it's on the corner and there's a lot of aspen trees around our site so it's a lot of uh, hues of yellow there where we're at so we'll show you that in a little while okay well as frustrating as it's going to be this is where we're going to be parked until they let us go in and set up at the new site we're hoping that it won't take hopefully no more than an hour because uh, checkout's 11 the, the the lady up there that wasn't really so kind told abby that well, you just got to check out and then maybe you can call about 1130 and if the site's clean, we can let you check in. So that's the plan, right? I like to see what they do for cleaning a site. They blow the leaves off the concrete. That's all they do. Ah. That's, that's all they do. There's leaves on there. I mean, everybody usually picks up their own trash, but they just blow the leaves off. So anyway, what we're going to do, this is the staging area up in the front of Tiger Run here. We're going to, um, we, we got to do some laundry. Yep. 
And uh, Abby said, well, let's go walk down there and see uh, what the laundry is all about so we can just waste some time. And we can look at the pool. And we get to look at the pool. They do have an indoor pool and a hot tub. You have to schedule it. They give you one hour uh, to use it uh, on a scheduled basis. Which is just weird, but I understand. Oh, uh, COVID. Yep. Everything's different in the world today. It is. All right, so we just checked out the uh, laundry area and the pool and hot tub. It looks really nice. It is nice. So here is our new spot. This is it. It looks big, doesn't it? Like a lot bigger. Yeah, Maybe it looks, it's not. But. I think it goes back further yeah. than the one that we were just at. The funny thing is that the guys, the people that were just here, just moved like two sites down. So mm -hmm. if they're able to move two sites down yeah. right now, then why are they telling us that we have to wait? Because they didn't ask. They oh, because they just did it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, seriously, they're... Um, Three, three spots down is where the people that were just right here. So, and that's the weird, another weird thing. If they're gonna move us to another spot, that one was open, why didn't they just put us on that spot instead of making these people move over there and us get here? But you said it right. They probably don't think it, think it out, or maybe- I don't think that a lot of these people that run these places think rationally on how to handle some of these situations. Or, or, especially, thought of another, it, I thought of another Especially if you're somebody that's already been here for a week, you're a paying customer, I think that they should kind of go above and beyond to make your transition a little bit easier and more comfortable. This not it's not like we just come in here for the you know for the first time. True. We're already in here. So they should go, Yes, Mrs. Booth, we'll get you right in there. <laughs> Let us go check the spot out, and make sure it's clean, and then we can come right on in. No, that spot won't be ready for another three hours. You well, know that. I think we're gonna break the rules and just come on back in and go park. Ooh, are we? Have some old guy come around and yell at me for uh, for uh, early well, okay. check-in. We're gonna unhook him and go to the brewery. So we, we won't <laughs> we'll <even> disappear. <laughs> so how did that go? It went great. She's like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was. I, that wasn't the same lady that you talked to the other day, was no, it? No, she was grumpier, but so, I understand. So it was an old grumpy lady she has that to, was. She has to answer the same questions every day, all the time. So we got right up there, and she's like. Yes, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's like, enjoy your day. But she said, um, make sure there's no oil stains on the concrete from the previous people because they charge a cleaning fee if there's an oil stain. So, sure, I'll check for oil stains. Yeah. Nope, no oil stains. <laughs> this we're, is perfect. We're going, to, we're going to our new spot. Okay, so we got our new site. He's a. Uh, getting us in here this one's much bigger than the other one much deeper and we have a deer cute that guy's waving didn't even look <laughs> i can brag because he's my husband but he really is incredible at backing this thing i don't even try to help him we do have a camera in the back. I'm sure he's talked about it before, so I know that helps, but he's backed in a lot of trailers in his life. And it looks like he's nailing it. Plenty of room for our slide, plenty of room for our stairs. It looks good. Is that okay? Kind of looks like I nailed it. You did nail it. Uh, I'm a little bit crooked on the front end, so I'll probably straighten it up a little bit just because of that. Okay. I think we're here. Okay, great. We made it to the Breckenridge Brewery. We we're all set up at the camp. This is our first time here uh, at the brewery on this trip anyway. We've been here before. They have really good beer. They have good beer, good food here too. So we're waiting for a table, but we're just gonna uh, wait in the line for the outside to get us a drink while we wait. And I need a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. <laughs> all right, so we just got sat at the Breckenridge Brewery and it's nice in here. We've got a big table. Not packed because they're social distancing. 
so take the bad, take the good with the bad, I guess. Okay, so um, I'm trying to figure out what to order. They have a smaller menu than normal, but still all the good things. And um, and obviously we have beer. Got beer. I uh, I ordered the uh, the strawberry sky. That's actually a really good beer that it's has good. a hint of strawberry. It does. It's not a lot. It's not like a total chick beer. Which one is mine? Mine's called the High Five, I think. I think so. It's just an American lager. So if you're looking for your crispy boy, this crispy is the boy. one right here. Yep. So um, I think um, we're going to drink a little bit and then order some food and just re relax and enjoy the day. It's we have lovely. nothing else to do because uh, we're just chilling, waiting on your parents to get My here. My parents are coming today. They're on their flight here. Yes, so they are. So they'll be here and then... We, uh, we have plans to go to the uh, Eric's downstairs for pizza yes, beer we're gonna, tonight. we're going to drink beer tonight and shove pizza in our faces, and I'm really excited about it. And then uh, tomorrow, we have a really big day planned, but I don't know exactly what we're doing yet, so... Supposed to be maybe going to Steamboat, but those plans may have changed. We might be doing Fresco. We might be doing beer drinking, um, which is total change for us. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. But your parents are going to be here, and they're ready for it. Yes, they're ready to drink yeah, beer. They're ready so. to take... I think they're taking a week off, and they're they coming. Are? Wreck. They are, and I'm really excited for them to get here. So, yeah, um, yeah. this is a uh, this is a nice relaxing uh, afternoon. Yeah, pretty good spot here, Breckenridge Brewery. It's cool. Yeah. It is cool like in here. What? I didn't, I didn't know you were taking a video. I, I made mine ugly. I know you weren't. I, I know you didn't know. I was just grabbing okay. a camera and just. Uh, I thought it'd be fun just to show. I, I got the chicken tendies. I they got give, the They give you a bunch of them. I'm not going to eat all those. I'll eat a couple of them. I got the salmon salad. Salmon salad. What is that right there? This is goat cheese. It's goat yes, cheese. Sir. So it's like a cheese ball? Yes. Wow. I didn't yeah. know they did that. So you take something healthy and then you put something on it that's not so healthy. Salads. Cancels it out. Salads. Out. Salads. That's just how they are today. <laughs> Well, it was either this or a sandwich or a burger. I, I just, sometimes I like to get chicken tenders, so that's me. 